Um, so just to review a few of the things that we've found so far, we've noted that this is a positive slope. We have found that the, our y-intercept on this graph is at the origin, it's zero, zero. And now we're gonna see if we can find coordinates for other points on this line. Let me zoom in on it here. This point has already been found for us, and it looks to me like it is two comma one. Instead of writing that as an x, y pair in parentheses, I'm gonna put it into a table because we're gonna gather as many of them as we can. Do you see any more points in quadrant one? I'm looking first in quadrant one. I see one here. Going back to the origin, that one is four comma two, isn't it? It's over four and up two. And now let's go for that negative one that you saw. Was it this one right here? This is negative two and negative one. And it looks like there's one more here, isn't there? Negative four, negative two. And let's put in our table the first one we found, which was the point at the origin. Zero, zero. Let's try that over here. Doesn't look like we have as many points on this line, but we're gonna make our X, Y table. This top left point is at one, two, three, negative four, comma, one. Where do you see another point? I see one right here. That one would be negative three, zero. Then there's this one that was marked for us, negative two, negative one. I think I'm going to run out of room if I try to put all of these on here. It looks like there's one at every point, doesn't there? Yeah. Let's make sure to include our origin or our um, y-intercept. And that's probably enough. We don't have a ton of room to write here. So with the other uh, 14 graphs, I want you to see if you can make XY tables for those as well. Finding, try to find at least four if possible. There might be a couple where it's not possible. <laughs>